In today's video, we're gonna go over if I started Airbnb while working full-time, here's exactly what I would do. If you don't know who I am, my name is Preston. And today, we're gonna go straight to the point and dive straight into how you can start a profitable Airbnb business while working a full-time job. There's gonna be no fluff in this video, just actionable strategies that I personally use to build a multi six-figure Airbnb empire. You can set up and run a profitable Airbnb in just three to five hours per week. And I know that sounds crazy, but I've done it before and I've helped hundreds of students do it too. And here's what we're gonna cover today. First up, we're gonna talk about my bridge method and how to start with as little as $10,000 and no property ownership and the exact systems that I use to automate 90% of the work. We're also gonna go over how to find hidden gem properties that most hosts overlook. Let's jump right into the bridge method. So this isn't just some theory, it's the exact strategy that I used to replace my corporate income in less than a year. And here's how it works. So first up, you have to find a place. You can use a place like Zillow.com for rent and you can start hunting for properties in high demand areas. And I'm gonna show you my exact filters in a minute. Next, you wanna re-rent it, negotiate a lease with the owner's approval, and then you re-rent that out using a sublease agreement. I'm gonna share with you a script that I use for this as well. Next, we're gonna furnish the property. I have a furniture checklist that you're gonna save you thousands of dollars and we're gonna get to that here in a bit as well. And then finally, you're gonna to wanna to list on Airbnb, VRBO, booking.com, and this is where all the magic happens and you get all the bookings. Now let's break down all the costs. Monthly rent's gonna depend on where you are and the market that you choose, but let's call it $2,000 to $2,500 per month. Furnishing it, it's gonna cost about $4,000 to $6,000 depending on the size, and then other startup costs, about $2,000 for things like photography, cleaning, et cetera. So total investment's gonna be about $10,000 to $12,000 depending on how big the property is. Now here's where it gets exciting. With this method, you can typically net around $2,500 per month from a single property. That means you're looking at making your initial investment back in just five to six months. Now let's talk about the time management about fitting Airbnb to your full-time schedule. And I know how hard it can be to fit these into your busy schedule, especially when you have limited time. So let's tackle the big question. How do you actually manage this while working a full-time job? So I'm gonna break it down week by week, showing you exactly how I did it. So from weeks one through two, I did market research and property hunting, and I spent about two to three hours per week doing this. So you can use your lunch breaks to research local Airbnb regulations, or you can use a tool called perplexity.ai. And this is where you can use AI. You can ask a question about any location and it's gonna tell you the most up-to-date information. Then you can dedicate about an hour per day to start searching for properties on Zillow and creating a short list of potential properties. And then you wanna dedicate 30 minutes per day to analyze market data for your short list of properties. And then from weeks three to four, I did remote property assessment and also negotiation. So I use the evenings to analyze property listings in detail. And then I use Google Street View to assess the neighborhood to make sure that's gonna be a good location. And then I prepare my pitch for landlords. Here's my exact landlord script that I use, but I suggest that you come up with something similar based on how you make it sound best. Then I started making calls to landlords during my lunch breaks or right after work. And then I started conducting these virtual property tours if they were available. And then I use tools like FaceTime for remote walkthroughs with the landlord or property manager. And again, the beauty of the bridge method is that you never need to physically visit the properties before you're going live. This saves you a tremendous amount of time and money and also allows you to expand into lucrative markets regardless of your location. So some tips for remote property assessment. Number one, you wanna ask for detailed videos of the property, including all the rooms and outdoor spaces. You also wanna request recent maintenance records to understand the property's condition. And number three, use online tools to research the neighborhood, nearby amenities, and also potential guest attractions. And the fourth, prepare a comprehensive list of questions for the landlord about the property and its history. And remember, your goal is to gather enough information to make an informed decision without physically being there. And this remote approach is what allows you to scale your Airbnb business efficiently while maintaining your full-time job. Weeks five through six, you wanna start setting up systems and furnishing. This is gonna take anywhere from four to five hours per week. So first you wanna start ordering your furniture. You wanna use your weekend evenings to order furniture online and you can use the spreadsheet to track everything and create a budget for yourself so you don't go over budget. And again, your budget's gonna depend on how big your property is, but around $4,000 for a standard one or two bedroom apartment. Now you wanna also start building your boots on the ground team like hiring your contractors. I like platforms like Thumbtack or direct Google searches to find local contractors. I even like to go on Facebook groups to go and search for them as well. And they wanna start hiring movers to receive and set up all the furniture. You also want a handyman on call for any minor repairs or adjustments, and then you want to hire a professional cleaner for the initial deep clean. The most important person on your boots on the ground team is going to be your cleaner, because if a property isn't clean, then you're going to get bad reviews and your property is not going to get a lot of bookings. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly vet your cleaner, and here's how you can do that. I have this interview document I used to vet and hire good cleaners so you can get a better idea on how to do this right. You can also take a screenshot of this and use these questions for yourself. Now let's talk about the contractor roles. So obviously the movers are gonna come in and set up all your furniture. The handyman's gonna come in for minor tasks like putting up ring cameras, paintings, etc. And then the cleaner's gonna come in for that initial deep cleaning and make sure that everything is good to go. And then you wanna start scheduling and coordinating the contractor visits. I like to create a rough sketch of where I would like everything placed and send it to them beforehand. And then for the finishing touches of the furniture placement and also the setup, you can FaceTime your contractors and have them rearrange as you're on the phone with them. Now you're gonna to wanna to start setting up your back office and automation tools. 
tools. So you can set up your automation tools in the evenings. It's going to take anywhere from about an hour per day. You want to also create your digital guidebook and check-in instructions. So you're not constantly have to answer these every single time a guest wants to book your place. And then you want to start implementing tools like Price Labs and Guesty. So we're going to break down each of these tools and why they're crucial for running your Airbnb business efficiently. Price Labs, what this is, it's a dynamic pricing software that automatically adjusts your nightly rates based on your demand, local events, and also market trends. This is why it's incredibly important because it maximizes your revenue by ensuring your prices are competitive and optimized at all times. The setup is really easy. You just connect it to your Airbnb account. You set up your base price and minimum maximum rates and let the algorithm do the rest. And pro tip, review and adjust your base settings weekly for best results. Then we have Guessy. What this does is it automates the guest communication from initial inquiry to post day and follow up. This is an incredibly important tool. It saves hours of time responding to guests, ensures consistent communication, and also improves guest experience. This again is super easy to set up. You connect it to your Airbnb account. You create message templates for different scenarios like your booking confirmation, check-in instructions, etc. And also set up your digital guidebook. Your digital guidebook and check-in instructions, it's going to provide your guests with all the necessary information about your property and the local area. And again, so you're not having to send this every single time manually. Again, this is going to reduce guest questions, improves their experience, and can lead to better reviews. You can use Guesty's built-in features to create a professional-looking digital guidebook. Super easy to do. And this is going to include the check-in, check-out procedures, Wi-Fi information, any house rules that you have, how to use appliances and amenities, and also any local recommendations you have like restaurants, attractions, etc. By implementing these systems and hiring people, you're going to essentially create a virtual management system for your Airbnb that's going to operate 24-7, handling guest interactions and pricing decisions as well. And this is how you can run multiple properties while only spending a few hours per week on your Airbnb business. And this this is the time you invest in setting these up. It's going to save you countless hours down the line. It's all about working smarter, not harder. And these tools are the key to scaling your Airbnb business while keeping your full-time job. And remember to always ask your contractors to send photos or videos of the completed work. And this is going to help you ensure that everything's set up correctly and gives you visuals for your Airbnb listing. And by the end of week six or 42 days later, your property should be fully furnished, clean, and ready for professional photos, all without you ever having to visit it in person. That is the power of the bridge method, leveraging other people's time to build your business efficiently. Now let's talk about how you can actually manage this in just a few hours per week. And the secret is automation and outsourcing. Here's my exact process. So first up, I hire a virtual assistant. I like onlinejobs.ph to find virtual assistants for about 500 bucks per month. They handle all the guest communication and booking management. Here's an interview document I use to hire good virtual assistants. You can take a screenshot of this. And again, you want to make sure they use the right tools so that we can automate this business as much as possible. Price labs for dynamic pricing and also guesty for automated messaging, check-in instructions, and digital guidebooks. Then you want to set up your SOPs. I have five core Google Doc SOPs that cover everything from guest communication to cleaning protocols, and my team uses these to run the operations without my constant input. And then I also have a weekly check-in call. I spend about an hour each week reviewing performance metrics, and then also address any issues that need my attention. This system allows me to focus on the strategy and growth instead of getting bogged down in the day-to-day -day operations. Now that we cover the nuts and bolts of setting up and automating your Airbnb business, I want to address something really, really important here. Now, I know what some of you guys might be thinking. Okay, you're probably thinking, Preston, this all sounds great and all, but I'm still not sure if I can do this on my own. And you know what? That's completely okay. In fact, it's normal to feel this way when you're starting something new. Now, let me ask you this. Remember back in college when you had a big exam or a crucial assignment deadline? Did you lock yourself in your room and try to figure everything out from scratch? Or did you team up with classmates, share notes, and use resources that others had already compiled? I bet you chose the second option. And the reason is because it's smarter, faster, and far more effective. Think about your Airbnb journey. You could be spending months researching markets, properties, and systems, or you could leverage a proven system and fast track your success. This is where me and my team come in. We've helped hundreds of people like you overcome these mental barriers and also launch successful Airbnb businesses. Here's exactly how we do it. We do all the market research for you so you don't have to worry about choosing the wrong location. And we also find pre-vetted properties with high potential and landlords ready to sublease your properties, saving you countless hours of searching. We also provide you with all the SOPs, systems, databases, and all the resources that you need so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You also get access to our network of successful hosts so you're never alone in this journey. Essentially, we're offering you the chance to duplicate my successful system into your business and speed run your Airbnb journey. So if you're serious about launching your Airbnb business and want to fast track your success, here's what you can do. You can click the link in the description to book a call with my team. And on this call, we're going to deep dive into your specific situation and your goals, identify the biggest obstacles holding you back, and also create a custom roadmap for your Airbnb success. And again, if you're interested, the link is in the description. Now, you know, throughout this video, we've talked about the practical steps of starting an Airbnb business, but there's one more crucial element that we need to address. And that's the voice in your head that might be holding you back. So let's just be real here for a second. While you're first looking at starting your Airbnb business, especially while working full time, it can seem incredibly overwhelming. Your brain might be telling you, you know, this is too complex or I don't have the time or even I'm not cut out for this. And trust me, I get it. I've been there. 
And when I first started, I couldn't connect all the dots and it seemed like there were a million moving parts and I couldn't see how it all come together. But here's the thing, that's exactly why I made this video. Think of it like a dopamine hit for your brain. I've broken down this seemingly complex process into simple, actionable steps. And the reason is because I want you to know that it's not as hard as you might think. It's actually way more achievable than most people think. And remember, your brain loves clarity. When things are unclear, it's hard to get started. But now that you've seen this entire process laid out step by step, from finding a property to automating your operations, doesn't it seem a lot more doable? And this isn't about sugarcoating the process because yes, it actually takes work and yes, there are gonna be challenges, but the point is it's not this insurmountable task that your brain might be making it out to be. So if you're sitting there thinking, maybe I could do this, then great, that's exactly the point. You absolutely can do this. And now you have a roadmap to follow. Don't let the fear of the unknown hold you back because you've seen in this process, you know it's possible to run this business in just a few hours per week. You have all the tools, the strategies, and now the belief that you can do it. And hey, it's completely okay to not know how to go from A to Z. You only need to know how to go from A to B. And then just focus on the next step and figure out what to do after that. Don't get too overwhelmed by thinking about and mapping the entire path. So what's your first step going to be? Researching properties, setting up your Zillow alerts, whatever it is, commit to doing it today. Because now you know this isn't just some pipe dream. It's a real achievable path to financial freedom while working your nine to five. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and let's make it happen.